First tonight, a teenage cop killer gets a second chance at a resentencing hearing. Nicholas Lindsay killed a St. Petersburg police officer when he was 16 years old. Well, since then, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that life without parole for juveniles is unconstitutional. Our Fallon Silcox is live with the very latest on Lindsay's case. Fallon? Lindsay is sitting here in the Pinellas County Jail right now where he'll wait to find out what his resentencing will be. The judge today allowing himself some extra time to review the case and go over all of the information that was presented today. But I can tell you, if you talk to the prosecutor or any law enforcement officer, they'll tell you killing a cop is enough to keep you behind bars forever. Powerful statements today by some of the people closest to Officer Dave Crawford. My last text with him was me saying, be safe, Dad. I love you. To he, which he immediately replied, I will, sweetheart. I love you, too. That was one hour before Lindsay went to shooting him. And Crawford's former partner, who still wears his badge around his neck. According to my faith, I am supposed to forgive you. I do not know that I will ever be able to do that. All explaining to the judge why Nicholas Lindsay Jr. should spend the rest of his days behind bars. Every single shot he fired was exactly where he aimed it, at the body of Officer Crawford. The defense offering a different side. A bubbly kid, you know, when he's around, he's kind of shy. A child growing up in a rough neighborhood exposed to domestic abuse, suffering from various physical and mental health issues. All things the defense says should be considered given the Supreme Court's ruling. And I think it's more likely than not that he fired impulsively out of fear. None of which matters, though, to those who love and miss Dave the most. And I hope that you live to be a very old man locked up. And every single day that you were locked away, that you can think of the choices that you made that night and all the things that you missed. But most importantly... Now the defense says it's cruel and unusual punishment to sentence a juvenile to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The judge will sentence Lindsay on October 11th. Live in Pinellas County, I'm Fallon Silcox, ABC Action News.